Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Hi guys, another bright sunny morning at the moment. It is due to start snowing in the next few days. Anyway, I want to make another uh, rubber band powered helicopter. Slightly different design. Um, probably inspired by a video by David Vernon Williamson, which I'll put in the video description. Although I've seen lots of other people do them. I think one of those it's one of those things you do at a science toy fair, uh, which I've never been to. I think they're over in America. So this time plastic drinking straw and the rubber band goes up the inside. So I'm gonna have to have a look, see if I can find some suitably thin rubber bands. I think if I use these ones that I've been using once they start winding up, they'll probably jam on the inside. Anyway, the design, basically you have a rotor blade or propeller blade on the bottom and a rotor blade or propeller blade on the top. The one on the bottom is fixed in place. The one on the top uh, will rotate a couple of beads on there to give it a friction-free surface. Now I'm hoping that won't actually get pulled right in. Might pay to wrap a bit of tape around the outside there to reduce the chances of that stretching and the bead going in. Uh, same as before though, we need a bit of bent paper clip. Sure, I had some on the table here somewhere. Yeah, there we are. So we'll straighten that out to make a hook shape. I say straighten out, that's because it's already been bent up to be used for something else. Paper clips aren't ideal for this, but that's what I've got. Some slightly thinner wire would be a little bit lighter. Right, I'm going to use this toothpick that I pushed a map pin through. That split it, but I'm hoping that if I'm going to wrap some tape around it anyway, then that should hold it together. And then we'll cut up some of this um, pop bottle again for the um, blades, propeller blades, and tape them in place. Do the same at both ends. So let's get on with it. So this one we want to be fairly small if it's going to fit right inside there. It's just four little right angle bends to give us the loop. That's too big, but I can probably flatten it down a bit. Got to be small enough to go in there, okay. Through the plastic bead. Yeah, I think if we wrap some tape around that, to stop it being pulled in, that might be a good idea. So what we're trying to do there is 
gives that a little bit more strength so it shouldn't be able to stretch and let the bead slide in. Shouldn't be in the word. It depends how much tension we put on the rubber band. I really don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to try it. some tape around that as well. That's the general idea. What size blades? Uh, metal ruler might be safer if I need to cut it. Metal ruler and cutting board. Yes, we're cutting at an angle compared to the shape of the bottle. It makes the propellers a, a better shape. Case, the dimension is the width of my ruler. Which is about 25 millimeters. When I made the blades last night, I made them much too big, but if you make them too big, you can cut them down to make them smaller. If you make them too small, you'd have to take it all apart again to start again, wouldn't you? So what should we do? Make these, well, I think 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters was probably way too big. Make them ninety. So that's our four rotor blades. I'm just going to tape them straight on there. Split the um, toothpick to help it to grip the blade. Yeah. Well, we'll try it like this first.
put a little bit of tape around the bottom of this one as well to try and give it a little bit more strength. Right, we need some rubber bands to go up through the middle. Yeah, we need, need something to pull it down through as well. some tape around that to hold that in place. Hmm. I think I've got the blades too big again. That's not going to rotate very fast. Right, my wife's waiting to go out for our cup of coffee. I've shortened the blades by about three centimetres on each side, so they're about six centimetres long. So it's significantly lighter. I've put a little bit of washing up liquid between the beads there to lubricate them. But I do need to do something to stop the blades sliding around and going out of um, the pitch the angle that they're at, because they're just sliding around on that sticky tape on here far too easily. So I either need to glue them or use some different sticky tape. So, let's see if we can launch it with the blades pointing in the right direction. So we got some success, but I need to do some more work on it. But we're off out for dinner now. Right, back home. Really technical fix. I just squirted hot glue in the gap between the sticky tape and the uh, plastic, the pop bottle. And that's holding the uh, blades in position. And I just gave it a quick try in here and well it hit the ceiling easily so I'm gonna go outside right it's a bit late in the day to be doing this but it hit the ceiling so easily in there we'll give it a try out here It's only about 50 turns. <laughs> I'll try and get it to go up a bit more. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> well, it works. Yeah, I think we'll leave that. It's a bit late at night to be knocking on the door asking for my aeroplane back. So, not going to do much of a summary there, are we?